honor of Geek Week on Google and uh, YouTube. This is the fourth in a series of tutorials on Samplitude 11. This particular tutorial is on noise reduction, uh, a different kind of noise reduction than the last video that was dealing with records, pops, and clicks. This is with sampling uh, the noise and reducing it, that noise, subtracting it out of the program. So what I have here is I recorded my voice with the, the window open so that there's background noise from the traffic. Let's listen to that. Okay, we have a sample recording of background noise with my voice. We'll run this through Samplitude, use the denoiser program, and then play it back to see what it sounds like once it's cleaned up. There's the noise. Okay, so that's what I recorded. I put it into Samplitude. The first thing we want to do is pick a noise sample, and you can search for a noise sample, open it up using the control and left arrow key, move along until you find a nice noise section. It should be, uh, the longer the better. Um, a good noise section would be, you know, three or four seconds. So if you're going to make a, a recording and you know that there's background noise in there, it would be worth your while to make a noise recording ahead of time and then take that noise recording and subtract it from your recording. So this section right here that I highlighted is my noise sample. We go up to edit, we copy that noise, it closes back down, and at the end here, we paste the noise. So we go to edit, paste, and there's the noise sample that we copy and pasted. Right click on it, and then left click and select a portion of that noise, the noise that you want to subtract from your program. Next, you go up to Effects, go down to Restoration, and it says Get Noise Sample. Click on Get Noise Sample. Then you go over here to the Effects column in the track that you're on. Click on the down arrow. Go to Restoration, go to Denoiser at the bottom here. Click on that, a window opens up. In this window, you go to Resolution. Set that for 4096. Keep this overlap at high. Smooth Attack, you can leave it alone. Smooth Release set for 20. A static Smooth set for 10. Put the noise, the correction, up around 70. Um, that'll vary a lot, uh, depending on... If you're using music, you're going to want that down around 20 to 30. But if you're doing, like, voiceovers like this, 70 is fine. Put this up high, around 30. So you got 30 dB of noise reduction. Then you go up to Wizard, and it makes sure that it says Noise Print Effect. Okay, in here. Then you click the wizard, and you make sure that this is clicked. Take Noise Print from Range Start or Play cursor. And you click Pick. Now it's running the noise sample. It's done. You click OK, you click OK here, and then you go back to your original recording, you play it back, you press the space key. Okay, we have a sample recording of background noise with my voice. We'll run this through Samplitude, use the denoiser program, and then play it back to see what it sounds like once it's cleaned up. No noise. And that's how you use the denoiser program, one of them, out of Samplitude 11. Thanks for watching.